Hi everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video Topic 1.9, Trophic Levels. So, a little bit about trophic levels. So you've probably seen some form of this pyramid uh, or this information somewhere before. Um, and the idea is that you can you have different levels, right? You have producers on the bottom, and you've got consumers in different levels going up and showing you how the energy transfers and moves and again, the energy resources. So I wanna show you an example of one we began talking about in the previous video and showing you the different trophic levels that apply here. So here we have the trophic energy pyramid. We're going to be looking at the marine ocean pyramid and seeing where those end up going. Okay. So ultimately, what is our main source of resource? Well, that's going to be the sun. Okay. So the sun produces the energy and that ends up producing energy for the stuff at the bottom of the pyramid, which tends to be in the ocean. Uh, your primary producers, and those are going to be your phytoplankton, and eventually uh, what we call the autotrophs. They're going to be the things that make that energy okay, of their own. Now, after that, after your primary production, you end up with your heterotrophs, which means that they are uh, going to have to get their energy from other source. So troph, the Latin meaning for that is energy. Auto means self, so autotroph makes its own. Heterotroph makes some uh, not doesn't make this energy but ends up having to get it from an other source in this case they're consumers so in the ocean that would be herbivorous zooplankton that's going to be the stuff that eats the little tiny phytoplankton um, which actually herbivorous zooplankton can still can uh, count as a blue whale because um, zooplankton zoo just means animal uh, sometimes plankton would be something that uh, floats but a whale would be more of a swimmer so it's close but um, and then you get to the top, those are going to be your um, secondary consumers or tertiary or further, and that's going to be your carnivorous zooplankton and your large animals. Okay, And so these guys all end up producing this energy, um, but they're also considered, or getting this energy, and they're also considered heterotrophs. Okay? And now the box on the side, the thing that all these other ones are pointing arrows to, is eventually everything's going to end up dying. Okay. And that's going to go to decomposers. So decomposers and detritivores are going to be the ones that end up uh, with all those nutrients. And where do those nutrients end up going? Well, they go right back down to the bottom of the pyramid to end up uh, allowing the producers to make more energy from that. So that's something you're going to have to be familiar with. Um, and I like using the ocean example because it's uh, one that's very simple and can be done like this. And we'll talk about uh, the 10% rule in energy. Um, in the next power, PowerPoint and video, um, and we'll learn a little bit more about why you can't have more than a few levels on this. Okay. And so what does all this mean? Well, I mentioned at the end there that those decomposers, can they end up reducing or producing those nutrients and sending it back down to the bottom of the pyramid. Well, things like nitrogen, phosphorus, even potassium and sulfur, they flow through those trophic levels, right? So every time an organism eats something else, it ends up taking that energy and using some of it and then excreting the rest, but eventually it all ends up going back through. So uh, I mentioned in one of the previous videos, water cycle tends to be the big medium for movement of this, um, but then nitrogen and phosphorus cycle, those are the ones that tend to be your limiting factors. And matter gets cycled through and returned back through decomposers. So that's something that's very uh, interesting and a really good uh, concept to think about when it comes to these trophic levels is that eventually nutrients have to get back to them in some form or fashion. So there's some resources on trophic levels. Um, hopefully uh, this was helpful and we'll see you in the next video.